Hi there, you guys. Happy Wednesday to you, middle of the week. I keep thinking that's my hair sticking up, but it's not. It's just part of that desk. I'm going to get started here. I'm going to use the Aveeno Baby SPF 50 sunscreen. does not hurt my face, so I like that. And then I'm going to use some of the Beach Bay L'Oreal. It's a face and body luminizer. So I use the two together. Like so. And it's been working out really well for me. Do you guys use sunscreen every day? I did I didn't until I realized that I should only use the baby kind. It says it's sensitive. And then on top of that, um the uh, SPF is, is high, so I feel good about that, you know. And I just put it on and kind of pat it in, like so. Um, how did you guys sleep last night? I hope well. I hope you sleep better tonight. For those of you that did not sleep well, sorry. I st I'm going to have some coffee, so you know how I am. I don't want anything on my lips. <sighs> Middle of the week, brand new year. I guess I could tell you guys what it is that I'm going to do. Um, it is, I would say, as far as the job goes, I would say that it's pretty out of left field for me. Um, I'm going to get ready while I tell you. Do you remember I was telling you that I um, was looking into getting a job, a different kind of job outside the home? I'm going to use a Milani eyeshadow primer. Put that on. Um, and so I had an interview yesterday, an interview which is kind of funny because um, I just was asked. So I have a friend who works at this particular place. So what it is, is it is a school bus driver. And um, I like the physicalness of it. I like driving. I like kids. Um, I really didn't want to do office work. And I don't know that we're going to have another business that we were having uh, before. So... This was, this was totally out of left field and I'm excited about it. Um, it's a little bit scary, you know, I don't want to ever do anything wrong driving a bus with a bunch of children is a little daunting or scary. Um, but people do it every day, all the time and they love it. They absolutely love it. I'm moving on to, I'm going to show you the brand new one, the Wet n Wild. I use Ash Brown. This is for eyebrows. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, yeah, school bus driver. And I got the job. So yesterday I went in just to, I'm using a little bit of the waxy part, a little bit of the, I don't know if I'm using this right, you guys. And then I'm using some of the dark. I should read this because I, I always said I never read it. And uh, application tips. And it's too dark in here for me to read it. So I'll have to let you know. Anyway, back to what I was saying. <laughs> um, I actually had applied. I saw the ad and I had applied. Or no, I hadn't applied yet. And I was considering it. And then I remembered that I have a friend who who works, uh, who drives a bus herself. And like she has for years and she loves it. And so I asked her. And she was so kind and said, come on in here and come in, just look around and I'll show you the buses. And um, this is a big place and um, we'll, um, you can see what you think and everything. And so that happened one day and then I came back um, again. She wanted me to come back. And this time when I came back, so the first time I went in, it was break winter break or whatever and um I you know nobody was there I, I met maybe three people two of the mechanics and a janitor there um so everyone in the office and anyone who does hiring was not there 
And then she said, why don't you come in, um, just come in and see what it's like with everybody there. So I did, but when I was there, um, I had applied the night before and wasn't thinking anything about going except that I thought that I would see a little bit more now that the break was over. Um, but they did a very impromptu uh, interview with me. There's three of them. And they did like that round robin type of questioning. And at first I, I told them, I said, I'm not, I'm not prepared. I didn't know you guys were gonna, you know, interview me. And um, they, uh, they, I use these little fans that you would normally just put in a drawer. This works really well to dry your face. Um, anyway, so I, I, they, you know, the one lady, she's the office manager. She said, just be yourself. And that was all I could do <laughs> because I knew nothing honestly about, about the job. I mean, about doing it, you know, I didn't really even have any questions yet. Um, but they, they seemed to, to like me pretty good and, uh, liked my answers. And so I got a call today and I was hired. So it's substitute at first. That's the only position that they have open right now. I'm using some of the Maybelline fit me translucent powder, on my eyes. Um, Usually I do the foundation first. If you hear any TV going, um, my husband's out in the living room taking a nap and he likes to have a TV up, so hopefully it won't bother you. I just heard like a voice. Anyway, so that is what's happening. I, um, I think what I'm going to do is use the Fit Me. I have been using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus, uh, the foundation and dewy, and I really do like it. And it has that, you know, applicator, which I don't know how I feel about that, but this is the Fit Me that I've been using for a long time. And I think that it's great. I do, it's just light coverage. At least that's how I put it on, is lightly. Um, and let's see. So anyway, that's the job and being a substitute is going to allow me to learn a bunch of different things. So I'll probably be like an aide and ride with people if they need someone to ride with them. Um, and eventually I'll have my own route. These buses are humongous. So well maintained, which I love that. And I have to learn all about the bus. You have to, you're basically responsible for your bus and you have to check it all out and everything before you leave, when you get back from the routes, taking the kids to school. Um, so I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be something that I'll enjoy and hopefully I'll be good at. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited. They have a cover where all the buses are, lots of buses. They have some small buses, which I might be driving those as well. Um, especially for, I'm going to use a little bit more of the fit me, especially for, uh, being a, you know, sub. So a sub, what's going to happen is, is, is I, it's like on call. So they'll teach me how to drive. I'll get my CDL, which is a commercial driver's license, which is great as far as, um, possibly who knows what that, you know, could turn into in the future. Um, I've always enjoyed driving, so maybe I'll. You never know. Could be, could turn into a truck driver or something someday. Maybe not really a truck driver. I don't want to do that necessarily, but it could be like something local, you know. Um, so I really feel like I've done just about everything that a person can do um, as, as far as jobs go. I've really done a lot of a different variety and this is my next thing. So we'll see how it goes. Alrighty, so I'm gonna get started with my eyes. Um, we are actually, my husband and I are going to go to a, a local, <clears throat> excuse me, a little local restaurant here and have dinner with um, our friends. They are a couple, married couple. They've been married, I believe, the same amount of time that we've been married. Um, our kids went to school together and yeah, it's good. I am going to use my strobing stick which is Maybelline strobing stick, which I happen to be very fond of. 
and I'm putting some under eyebrow. I don't know if you can see it. So that has it and that doesn't, I can't really tell if you can see. Well, at least it's not that big of a difference, you know. I was telling you in one of my videos that I used to use like white frost there when I was younger. I'm talking like, you know, 20. It wasn't that long ago. Okay, I actually feel pretty, pretty dry. I'm skipping all over the place today. How's your day been going so far? I'm glad that you've been having a good day. If you've been having a good day. If you have not been having a good day, well, I hope that there's time that you will feel it changing this very day. I hope that for you. It's no fun when things aren't going right. And it's so good to acknowledge when they are. And even when they're not, should just think of the things that are good, you know? So I'm going to use my usual, which is the Mad for Mats Nude Mood Elf. I'm going to use this color right here, which is a really good base color, I think. I don't know why my face was like a little fuzzy on it or something. And I'm just gonna, um, I'm really not pushing hard. It looks like I am, but I'm not. I think it looks like I'm pushing hard, but I'm not. So maybe I'll try and do a little lighter. I just bring it all the way, not all the way up to my brows, but all the way up to where I put that strobing stick. So, um, have you ever driven a bus? School bus? And if you have, let me know if you loved it. Seems that most people really love it and they stay a long time and they actually retire from it. And actually my grandfather, he was a firefighter and then he retired from the fire department. I'm using this brush, I'm gonna use the same color underneath. And then he drove a school bus for 12 years before he retired from that. And so I think it's kind of cool that I'm doing that. Am I scared? I think I already said I am. <laughs> I'm a little scared. Um, no, you know. Something I don't want to do is I really don't want to um, <clears throat> go on like long field trips that are hours long or an hour away, that kind of thing. They asked me, they said, would, but would you take like the little kids to like the pumpkin patch or something? I said, yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna use some of this warm right here. And, um, but I mean, sometimes they travel or, you know, you take teams and stuff, football team or something. And I don't, I'm not really into that. I don't really want to be responsible for a whole entire team on the freeway all that time. You know what I mean? Who knows what it'll end up being. It might be something I end up doing someday, but just I'm getting started. So it seems like they're really nice people. My friend has been really helpful. I'm going to use some of this, this color that I like. They don't have names. So I try to hold it in the position that you can see in case you buy it and you want to do the same look or something. So my son is back in town. He works taking care of a young man um, who is severely autistic and he loves that job. It's not something that will last forever, but for now he's 23 and he enjoys it. The young man's 24. Um, and so I don't know if you watched my past videos, but my son was not here for Christmas because he he was working and we had an early Christmas with him and I think he really enjoyed it but there are, and maybe I already said this one of my other videos but there's a little specialty thing I make which is it's just bacon bread um, where you use frozen bread dough ranch dressing a uh, packet you know the dry dry dressing and um, 
mozzarella cheese and some oil. I'm gonna use some of the strobing stick on my lids. It really kind of makes it pretty, I think. Not, isn't if you could see it in person, it's not as shimmery as, you know, some of the silver I've used in the past, but you can kind of tell. And it just makes it a little pretty, but not, not like kablamo. I'm dressing up, that kind of thing. Um, anyway, so I am going to make him some in the morning. I actually have it in the refrigerator made up. Hopefully the, the dough won't rise so much that it gets all over the refrigerator. <laughs> it has done that in the past. I thought it's done rising, but it doesn't. It keeps going. Alrighty, so there's that. I'm going to put a little dark underneath. I'll use that same color here. I don't know if any of you who have adult children, specifically sons probably, I, I don't know, but he really doesn't miss home, I don't think. I mean, he loves us, but, and, and that's probably how it should be, you know. So he rents a room from a friend who owns a house in, in the town right next to us, and he he's good to go. He doesn't. He doesn't really, even when he comes over, he doesn't really sit down even. He just sort of doesn't stay very long. And as a mom, it's a little bit hurtful, but that will change and maybe it won't. My job was to raise him, not to keep him my baby, right? I mean, he's always gonna be my baby, but you know what I mean? Where he, he needs to grow up and do his own life. Okay, and I that's what I want. I'm just saying, it just hurts a little bit. So, I think I'm going to use that Gypsy Blue eyeliner, um, which was here. And as you know, I'm not the only one in here. I'm not going to blame my husband. I'm not going to blame my husband. Maybe I actually put it away. So, let's see here. What do I, yes, it was put away where it belonged. What do you know? Mm -hmm. Gypsy blue. Um, cool. I'm glad. So I don't, if you remember in a past video, this is the color of the container. This is what I was drawn to when I purchased it. This is not the color that it will be. Although it looks like it on there, doesn't it? It's a little more bluer. I like a blue green color. I'm just gonna put a little on and cover it with some either black or like a dark brown, maybe dark brown. So. So tonight we'll probably have, um, this is not my favorite restaurant for pizza at all. My favorite restaurant for pizza is in a town a few towns away. So good. This place does have pizza and it has sandwiches and it has some pasta, I think. I think my husband and I, we were talking and we're gonna share a pizza there. So that's the plan. Ooh, maybe I'll, I'm gonna actually use this color. This is the Rose Gold Nude Elf palette. And I had used this before and thought it was more of a black, but it's really like a dark, dark purple. It's really pretty. I'm gonna use some of that. Almost like a dark taupey purple. So I'm gonna see what that looks like over this color. If that blue was a little more, I just like it, I guess I should say, I just like it peeking out, you know? Just peeking out. So I have no idea how my days are gonna go in the future, which I don't like that feeling. They're supposed to be contacting me and I will be taking, or you know, watching some safety videos. Um, I have to go to the DMV and get my CDL, which I need to be studying for. Um, and I mean, I could drive, I think, I don't know for sure, but I could drive a truck in, in construction or something. 
Um, I don't know. I don't know what my future holds. Oh, one thing I really like, and one of the reasons that I that I was really considering uh, applying for as a bus driver is not only that it's something like physical and it's not office work, which I have done enough in my life. Um, and, but you don't have to dress up. You can just wear comfy clothes, you know, and this is what it looks like. And, um, it's not weekends and which office usually isn't either. But again, I don't want to work office. And, um, kids, I mean, it would be nice. I hope I, I could have high schoolers, which would be okay. Although nowadays they're a little bit scary. My grandpa, when he was a um, bus driver, for some reason he had, we have a cassette tape of him from when he was a bus driver. Cassette, that means just sound. He must have had a, a tape recorder somewhere on his bus. And you could tell like that he was loving it and the kids loved him. It was, it was loud and rambunctious, but it was like happy and you could hear him shifting and it was super cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> but it seemed like on, I think we only have one, one cassette tape. He, he tells a boy, you're going to walk. Like he, he was going to pull over and say, maybe he did. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've listened to it, but some boy, and these were like high school kids or middle school kids was acting up and not listening to him. I'm going to use some of the, the foundation that I use to fit me. And I'm just going to touch and put here, touch, put here. You can hear that suction from my finger. Um, and I just like to kind of refresh under here. If I've kind of been, and I'm really doing a light touch. It seems like I'm moving fast, but it's really light. Um, and kind of just dabbing also. Anyway, um, I, he, he was telling this boy, or he did pull over. I think the boy, he said, you can walk the next mile or something. And you can't, and I think that that was, I mean, under the right circumstances, that would be the right thing to do. This is the Milani sun kissed, but nowadays you would get in trouble you can't do that. You know, you probably, and I don't know this, this is part of what I'm gonna learn, but I wouldn't doubt it if you just have to take it and just drive the bus and, you know, I don't know. I've seen too many videos of bad stuff on buses for the bus driver, you know, but it's just, it's not, I shouldn't watch it. <laughs> That's what I shouldn't do. Okay, so I got a little bit of, a little bit of the, the bronzer on. I'm going to use a little bit of the Tea Rose, which is from Milani also. It's a little blush. And um, anyway, I just kind of like that, you know, those days when you could, you could um, be respected as an adult and the child wasn't in, in charge of everything, I guess. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I don't know how to word what I'm trying to say. Um, I would hope that all the students would like to be on my bus and enjoy it. That's what I'm hoping. So I'm going to just kind of blend this in a little. I'm just telling you my thoughts. And I'm not, I'm not a, those are just things that cross my mind. You know, that's all. I'm gonna use some of the Coral Ember Cheek Heat. Do you do your makeup the same every day, would you say? And then change it up every now and then, would you say? Or do you change it every morning or what do you do? I change mine a lot more now that I'm doing these videos. But um, I would normally just do, you know, the same thing over and over again. Most, you know, pretty much. And then um, I like to put a little bit on my nose. Um... And then, then I would try something maybe special for a special night or something. I'm going to use the Milani strobing stick. I like a little on the end of my nose and put a little here. I'm almost done with my coffee. One more sip. And now I will put on the lipstick.
I'm going to use this limp liner. And hope I do put it on. Hope I put it on well, so I'm trying to say. Uh-huh. And I think I'm going to just put the the tiramisu now, this time the butter gloss and tiramisu. Put that on. Ooh. That looks kind of pretty, I think. All right. One thing I think I might do is, I just want to be really careful. There's a little bit of something down there. Maybe underneath is fine. I was gonna put more, more a little darker underneath the eyes, but I think it's okay. I'm going to use the sky high in black. <clears throat> have you worked a job? Have you worked outside of your home? And um, if you have, has it been something that you have done for a long, long time? If you're over 50 like me, you're probably getting close to either being sick of what you're doing. No, I'm just kidding. But retiring or thinking of doing something else or... I mean, all those thoughts come to our minds, don't they? I'm thankful my husband has worked in his same position um, for 30 years now, almost 31 years. So he's very good that way. He's a hard worker. I, I'm a hard worker too. I think I learned a lot of that from him, which is nice. That's a good trait to have learned from your husband, I think, or your wife. And... Um, I just am so thankful that I was able to stay home with my kids when they were growing up. Very, very thankful. Went by so fast. Um, and now I get to be a bus driver. Pretty cool. And I think it could open the door to other things that I don't even know yet. I worked for a while for um, an epoxy company and that was a lot of fun. And that was physical too. We would have classes and people would come from all over to take these classes and I would help people learn how to use it all. And it was really great. And it was, at that time I was like, I never wanna go back to working in an office. I know some people love working in an office. There's definitely something to be said for working in an office. I did enjoy dressing nicely. I enjoyed um, the quietness of it and but it's just not, not for me. So I can see how um, people would like it. So anyhow, that's it for today. Oh, look at this. I think there's hair. I'm going to fix my bangs. And I did put a few loose curls in my hair and I'm going to go to dinner and I, it's just, you know, hometown dinner. I don't think that I need to change my talk. I think I'm good. All right, you guys, thank you for listening to me and, and watching me put my makeup on and chatting with me and hanging out with me. And I hope that you have a wonderful morning, afternoon or evening. And I will see you tomorrow. And I will update you on everything. Um, most likely, um, if this all works out and I continue on with the bus driving, I will be doing these videos most likely um, as I'm getting ready for work. So I think that's cool. And maybe you're watching them when you're getting ready for work. Or when you're having your, you know, whenever it is that you get up and you're having your tea or your coffee or your juice or your water or your... Uh, 
smoothie. All right, you guys, you take care. I'll be thinking about you because I do, and I will see you tomorrow, all right? Okay, stay focused. All right, bye.